All right, now it's time for the final video of Group D, the final predictions of all the games. Well, let's see. They start on the 13th. First game is Serbia against Ghana. Now, I think Serbia is the better team, so I think they're going to win it. Can't really tell you how. It's difficult to predict how the game's going to go, but I think Ghana... They like goal scoring ability. I think Serbia is able to dominate the game um, and they'll win it 2 1. Yeah. Then the other game is Germany against uh, Australia. Germany the favorites. Um, I think Australia will give them a hard time. It's possible that it'll be nil nil at half time, but eventually Germany will, will get through and will win, I think, 1 0. Possibly 2 0, but let's say 1 0. Alright, second round of games. We got Germany against Serbia, Ghana against Australia. I think Serbia is going to do well against Germany. I think it's going to be a draw. It's going to be a 1 1. Yeah, because Serbia, quite a few players have a past in Germany. They know the German team well, they know the German game well. And I think Germany knows that Serbia is a team to be respected. And I think uh, Germany isn't going to play brilliant football. I think in this World Cup, so it's going to be 1-1. One, one. Then Ghana against Australia, well that's really, uh, both teams have to win to get through. And I think possibly Ghana might just win this. It's going to be 2-1 to Ghana. It's going to be a close game, but Ghana I think will win this one. So then going into the final game, we got uh, Germany on 4 points, Serbia on 4 points, and um, Ghana on three, Australia on zero points. I think the final game, Germany will be able to beat Ghana. It's going to be 2 0. And Australia might just get a draw from Serbia. Yes, it's the last game. It might just become 1 1. Yeah. Seems quite likely. Serbia is pretty much already qualified. Unless Ghana beats Germany, but that's unlikely. So, uh, yeah, Australia will be able to capture some of their uh, respect. Uh, get some respect, at least, for getting one point. Uh, but they still end up being uh, four. So, that, that leads to the following I, I end score. Germany, seven points out of three games. Uh, Serbia, also seven. No, Serbia, five points. Ghana will end up with three points. Australia will end up with one point. So Germany 1, Serbia 2, Ghana 3, Australia 4. It is a close group, by the way. I think Germany isn't going to dominate because uh, I think they they haven't been playing brilliantly lately. And they're missing Michael Balak, but they are the best team in the group still. Serbia might cause them some problems, and I think they're the best of the other three. But I don't rule out that Australia, if they can get the form right at the right time, like they did, and they get a bit lucky, like they did in 2006. Australia might surprise people, but then again, Ghana, you know, if they can hit the form like they did in 2006 as well, um, and maybe with the advantage of the home continent, they could surprise people. But based on the quality of the team and what the, we've seen the teams do in preparation, I say Germany number one, Serbia two, Ghana three, Australia four. All right, that's it. That's my prediction for Group D. So we're halfway there. Now we're uh, going to go over to Group E. All right, thank you.